late. Right on time. How's the pub? Coffee in the cake. Marty, you're a low light. No offense. But you have no style. I do business with you, but you have no style. Cosmo, anytime you need some help, come to me. I don't ever want to see you again. Don't push it. I think there's a bar in the next corner. Uh, on the right.
mind if I sit down? Hey, I paid for the cab. Yeah? I got out. What do you want from me? Come, let's go. Come on. Come on. What's your name? You called me Eddie just a half hour ago. You forgot my name. Eddie. Hey, you had enough. I'm telling you. When you forgot you, my Eddie. name. It's been a long day, Eddie. Yeah, I know the problems you had, but I also know you got a family and kids, so let's blow this snake head. Come on. Come on, lover. Let's do it. Let's play to that game. <laughs> oh, boy, you know, George, I'm a, you're a Miss Chugger now. You a Jew? Yeah. Oh, babe. From where? Where were you born? New York. I'm kidding. So are you. Good people what come from New, New York. York. What part of New York? Every borough, but I missed you one. You were born in every borough? No, I born, never heard of such born a in the greatest street in the world, Mott Street. Ma I know Mott Street very well. I was born uptown. I'm one of Mott, Mott Nester. I was born on 29th Street, between 1st and 2nd. The rich people. No, 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 that was poor. The rich people. Near Bellevue Hospital. Anything past Broome you know Street. Bellevue Hospital? Oh, yeah. The morgue? Yeah, but at least you had the river. The beautiful river. Uh, <laughs> oh, you hit me. Uh, we used to swim in that river. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You swam the... that way. Right? The scum. You remember? That's right. The bags. The scum. Oh! <laughs> I used to go to the Hudson River. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But now we're going home. Where? Your home. There's no river there, is there? Bring them in and fill the jar. Where the hell is everybody? Sonny, give me a drink. Give me a cigarette. Give me a drink. What do you want, boss? Scotch. Rocks? Yeah. Where are the girls? They're in the back. Not you, sweetheart. Tony, out. What? There's nobody. There's, there's nobody down there. There's nobody. Okay, girl. Don't think I'm let you come out. I'll live. Maybe. I call it. It's more hard to go. Hurry. Hey, Sherry. You missed my name. Still mad at me. Hi. Still don't make it, John. Carol. Nice to see you. You're back, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to worry. The place is dead. Oh, not again. Again. It'll pick up. It'll pick up later on. It'll pick up. It'll... Hey, everything's slow. You know, I talked to uh, Verna. She said Verna. Irving's dying. Oh, Verna. Irving has been dead for years. Oh, oh you know that's Irving. not nice. Irving Lowe? <laughs> Rachel, can I have hey, one Rachel. of the, uh, your eyebrow right pencils? This is sure. a uh, the Times. Are these tramps, honey? What's yeah. the times? Everybody's dying. They're kind of the, they're well, some people you know, living. I wouldn't say everybody's dying. Teddy. Oh, I yeah. Uh, I put on the news this morning. I couldn't sleep. Uh, yeah. yeah. These two girls in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis? Yeah. yeah. I was going to kill you. The girl. Oh, tell me. Early this morning, I couldn't I don't sleep. I don't care if it was early this morning or late this morning. All these boots do nothing on my Yeah, well, this gopher, uh, this gopher. There are a couple of kinds of gophers. Gopher from a hole! 
from a hole. So I thought right. you meant one that went for coffee okay. like you used to. Yeah. No, right. it means if you go No, this is a go That's terrific. Now, this is broken over. That go well, yeah, so go on. Is. Where did, did this, this happen, party? this thing with the gophers? Hey, honey, no. Well, the gophers. So how did it get broken? Listen, I don't know. I mean, you know. What are you looking for, Rachel? You're not the only one in this dress room. Rach, Rach, Rach. Rach. Yes, what are you looking for? Rach. All right, I'm on Ash. It's all right. I want you to hear this story, all of you. Listen, listen. These two girls caught oh, a gopher, and they took the gopher home, and they cut the tail off, Ugh. and then they cooked the tail, and they ate it, sake. and they died of botulism. Botulism? What do you know from botulism? And, uh... Yes, those are yours. The other ones You're are not listening to the story. Where did you ever hear about botulism? <laughs> well, I tell you, I never laughed so hard in my life. I, I, don't, think it's, I don't think it's so funny. Well, it isn't a true story. He does this all the time. Well, I he swear to God, and my mother's great. Cosmos. That's right. Mother. They, ate, oh. they, ate, they ate the tail, and they died of botulism. They died of... That's sick. Yeah. He's sick, you know, he... So, what else is new? What else is new? What's new is I can't get this on right. That's what's new. Oh, the market went down. What can you do? For a chain? Oh, I suppose you get this mustache on. And the women's fashions are changing. The skirts are getting longer. Oh, yeah? You know about women's fashions. Yeah, you're not getting the world. Looks like Dolly's or Dolly. All right. See you in a while. Okay. See you later, Cosmo. It's all right, Vince. It'll pick up. Have a big night. the greatest joint in town. I mean, I've been here a million times. No kidding. Are you kidding? I brought this three carloads of people. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm sorry you brought them here on a Sunday night. You know, we're a little slow, oh, but uh, at least we're open. Uh, the rest of the place on the strip are closed. Wait a minute. Is Mr. Sophistication here? He sure is. Come on. And Rachel and the rest of the girls? Yeah, they're here. This guy does the whole thing. So we got it. Choreographs it. He stages it. He does uh, the whole thing. Don't exaggerate. I do the best I can. You got the best joint this side of Vegas. Thank you. I mean, I understand what it is on a Sunday night. I'm a club owner myself. You are? Oh, yeah, we got a joint in Santa Monica. It's not like this. I mean, it's a little different gambling, you know? I mean, but it's clean air, seaside. Well, I like a little action. Hey, this guy's swimming anytime you want to come. Uh, read it. Table number one. Hey, yeah, that's the record. Uh, I recorded that. I introduced all the acts. Right, 
Got enough chairs? Yes, sit. Yeah. Sit. Let's talk. Uh, what'll it be, Mort? Champagne, huh? For everybody? Everybody. Uh, uh, two, yeah. two bottles that. of Dom Perignon. Remember that, huh? Uh, <laughs> Hazy Horse-West is proud to present Mr. Sophistication. This club of yours. Oh, sure, that's we got a really wonderful place too. I mean, it's uh, it's a place where you can go and play poker, you know, and uh, nobody bothers you. We're just there to see that nobody cheats. I'll have no trouble getting in. No, I'm sure you like it. But Excellent cuisine, good wine. Uh, uh, right on here, special, port, and everything's on us. And, uh, it's nice, you'd like it. Yeah, everything's for free. Yeah, everything. Except the game. Right. As we say, hey, come on, come on, pay attention to me. You know, we work up here for, well, hard work. Oh, screw it. I was saying that, uh, well, here she is. Excuse me. Just through the chair. Don't shoot! No, please. You can't shoot me. How can you? I'm a star. I gotta straighten out a few. Go ahead. I'll see you later. Get slow, Lamar. Beat you again. Alfred, oh, where's your class? <laughs> Style, not class. Hey, 
May we help you? Yeah. Hey, my name is Osmo Vitelli. I came to pick up Sherry. Oh, she's what? inside. She's dressed. She's getting ready. Oh, thanks. Would you like to wait inside? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, just go in and see if she's ready. Yeah. All right. Well, so we're in with more saying. Sherry? Don't come in here. I'm not dressed yet. Okay, I won't come in. I'll wait right here. Who are you? My name's Cosmo. Well, uh, why don't you wait for Sherry outside? Okay. She'll be ready in just a minute. Yeah. Hi, big fella. Everything okay? Fine, thank you. Fine. You're awfully cute. Oh, well, you're not so bad yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you. Hi, you look wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice time. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Here, let me put this on you. Here we go. Right. Uh, Lamar, you know how to do this? Oh, yeah. I know all about this. Some champagne. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Hold it. Okay. Mm. Kind of those tiny little bubbles in there. I'll drink it. I don't know. I'm a freak. I like vodka on the rocks. Just a little bit of a twist. Yeah. Just on your teeth. Real nice. What else do you like? Or a vodka martini straight up. What else? Well, I like a lot of things, but. You're gonna like that. Drink it. It's the best. It's nice. It's dry. What is this? Yeah, you haven't even tasted it. Taste it. Dome Perignon. Oh. Right. The best. I'll get used to it. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Should be. All right, get her in the car. There you go. Okay. How's that look? It looks awfully nice. Yes, thank you. Well, I couldn't imagine. All set? Yeah, go ahead. For Christ's sake. Okay. Well, I at least got the pin in there. Right. Yeah, we're good. This is. 1347 Serrano, you know where that is? All right, let's go. Hey, sweetheart. Hand me that thing. I smell cigars. No, it stinks like perfume in here already. <laughs> no, give me that. Give me that. like a shill sitting around here doing nothing. Yeah, really. Did you see that guy at that poker table in the back giving me the eye? I think it'll be great. Well, we can't stay in here all night, you know what I mean? All right, you guys, let's go. Come on, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just a minute. Oh, no one's noticing your face. They're looking at your tits and they're looking at your ass. Yeah, uh-huh. That's your line, honey, not mine. I got more to offer than that. A lot yeah, more. Yeah, okay, let's go. Sure, I do. Let's sure, go. I do. Let's go. Yeah. 
ready for this. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. $800. I know it costs $800. Wait a minute, will you? What are you trying to do, embarrass me? I'm sorry. No. Well, can I have the credit or can't I? I'm sorry. There's no more. Well, now let me see Mr. Wilde. Go get him, will you? The man said I could have unlimited credit. Unlimited credit? I never heard of such a thing. What do you mean, unlimited credit? <laughs> <laughs> well, then cash a check. I'll cash a check for $2,000. No okay. way. You got my checkbook? No way, Mr. Patelli. I can't cash your check. I got it right here. What are you telling me you can't cash my check? Man, I'm telling you I can't cash your check. It means my ass if I do. Well, how about credit cards? I got gold credit cards, silver credit cards, orange credit cards, green credit cards. Is that all right? All right. With credit cards, I'll take your check. All right? What's the name of this place? Ship, ship, ship ahoy. Ship ahoy. Darling, don't do that. It irritates me, will you? It's all right. It's only money. Does entourage of biscuits follow you wherever you go? Care for a drink? Uh, no, thanks. May I see your credit cards, please? Your driver's license? That's uh, there. Excuse me, Mark. Who gave this gentleman credit? Mr. Vitale. Do you plan to pay your debt by check? Well, I don't usually carry that kind of money in my bank. You know, all the money I make, I put back into the business. And it's paying off handsomely. Now, look, I intend to pay. I'm not one of those guys who consider a gambling debt just a piece of paper. I'm sure. And uh, as you'll see there, uh, there's a, there's a, Triple A credit rating. Oh, yeah, go gas car. Uh, 
Why don't we have that drink, girls? Uh, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd be willing to pay for it. A round. Uh, for no, a no, no, no. Ladies, excuse me. I'm sorry. Please be seated. Just make yourselves comfortable. $23,000 is a lot of money. Eddie, uh, let me have a form 223 and a form 17. Okay. And a pen. No, no, no. You've got two form 17s. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I'll cut one to you in just a minute. All right. And that's 17. And a pen. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Vitelli, right here. Ladies, please come again. See you, Chin. Well, does this mean we all look for a new job? Are uh, you going to start a cutback or what? You know, the only reason I ask, Cosmo, is because I'm only 5'2", and that's a couple inches under the limit. I just don't know too many places who hire me. You know what I mean? Oh, my orchid. Where's my orchid? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Get a good night's sleep. Okay. Good See day's you. sleep. Good Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't I walk you to your door? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. So what are we going to do? It's all paper. It certainly hasn't been a pressing evening all the way around, hasn't it? Sexual. I don't know what the hell I feel. I think the thing to do is to get some cash and go back down here. Want me to come with you?
All dressed up and no place to go? I have a coffee. How you doing over there? Okay. You gonna let me audition for you? You don't wanna do that. Get me the coffee, will you? Body. And I can dance, too. How old are you? I've been there. No. You going back to the place? Yeah. You want me to audition for you? I can get Abe to sit in for me. There's not much of a turnover at this hour of the morning. Switch here. Damn thing never works. Do you have a dressing room? Yeah, there it is. I need a costume. Yeah, wait a second. Costumes over here. This patch. Try on anything. I'm okay now, thanks. Do you have any music? Yeah, we got music. Jump call. 
do that again. Understanding that we share. Okay, just walk no up and down just so I can take a look at it. Have to jump anymore, sweetheart. Just walk up and down. And still knowing this, we really care. And when the time is right, oh, honest oh, mine. So take a jet or an ocean liner, but using your imaginations and with our humble efforts on stage here, let's transport ourselves to that 
city on the sand 9,000 miles away, the city of light, La Ville Lumière, Paris.
Hey, go along some manner. Get going. Yes, sir. Right back, sir. Gentlemen, John Lord, Eddie, Phil, Horn, Joe, I thank you, Captain Seminelli. Cosmo. Yeah, Cosmo. Let's wait, sir. Wait, there is a big drop up inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got a nice spot here, Mr. Gillette. Who do I talk to? You talk to all of us. At once. Just wanted to drop by and say hi, see how you were feeling. To the Fu Manchu mustaches. And they're very uptight, you know, and they're very resentful because they don't know whether they're Chinese American or American Chinese, you know. His name is Ling. So what does he do? Chinese cookie. Uh, see, what we need you for is this. We've got this little problem, and you can help us out. Well, that's what we're talking about. So, well, some... Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I understand. I'm not dumb, but I'm, I'm not a fool. You're going to be Did one Did you call him a fool, Mort? Did I call you a fool? Nobody called you a fool. Well, that's good. Be smart, Cotton. This guy owes us money. He's got to pay. I want to reduce the debt, but not get rid of it. So you want to reduce the debt, but not get rid of it. Is That's, that right? Yeah. How much? Uh, boys, uh, look. Mr. Vitelli. The first rule of a good businessman is to know what you're talking about. Now, Mr. Vitelli, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait a minute, fellas. <laughs> We're going too fast. We're going too fast. Yeah, fast. Down 
not hungry. Give me some uh, Coca Cola. Let's do something. What do you want to do? Let's go to a movie? Yeah, let's go to a movie. Chinese? Chinese movie. Why not? Get out of this heat and get some air conditioning, huh? All right. Enough. Seen three pictures. Here it is. I got it. Jesus Christ, this night. Here, here's your hat. Lamar, why don't you come in and get us? What time is it? Late. Of course it's late. The show, for Christ's sake. Let's get in here. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, for Christ's sake. Let's go. Now, look, I'm busy now. I'll see you in a few minutes. Huh? Please, do yourself a favor. Well, you know I like it. Do yourself a favor and step outside. Okay. the message. Beautiful of us. Beautiful. Now, Bajo now we have a relationship. Now we can talk. Sure. Me, what a wonderful of us. Your belly of us. Give it up, bravo. You're better.
Give it to him. Check the bullets, bro. Don't forget the bullets. Put that safety in. Yeah, that's right. Well, we uh, borrowed a car. Parked behind us. That's what you use. So don't stall it. There's no key. You see this? You know where the Laurel Ventura Freeway is? You go over Laurel. Two blocks on the other side of the valley, past Ventura Boulevard. Stay to your right under the bridge you get on. Stay to your right on the freeway to get to the Hollywood. You take that straight until you come to a three-pronged freeway. It's on the map. Take a look at it. It's where one freeway becomes three freeways. The Pasadena, the Santa Ana, and the Harbor. You take the Pasadena on your left. Stay on that till you get to Rossmore. Get off the Rossmore exit. Go east till you come to Philbin. It's on the map. Park the car. Walk seven blocks. Wotan and Gray. It's all marked. Here's the book. Steps are in there. Number. <coughs> Police car came by, but it, they kept right on going. Here's the key. Now, we got it from the locksmith who put the Chinese locks in. We know it works. For the back stairs only, Cosmo. Uh, you gotta stop off at the joint and buy some beef. Got three dogs. They could buy 12 hamburgers. Don't put mustard on them either. And no pickle in there. Or ketchup. And don't put any onions on them. Yeah, yeah. We've been told good information that uh, Benny Wu goes to bed about 9 o'clock. Oh, I think that you should. Oh, wait a minute. What? I thought the guy's name was Harold Lane. The well, man he goes is, uh, to bed. The man retires at 9 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I meant. Anyway, we've checked this thing out. He's an old man. He sleeps alone. There's an A-frame house in front of the big place. Got, got a lot of guards living there. The guards live in the A-frame? Right. Yeah. There's always somebody wandering, sometimes two outside. The quick and quiet. And their lights and their tripwires. Only in the front of the driver. In the front of the driver. <clears throat> Take a taxi cab back. Wipe the gun clean and throw it away. It can't be traced. Use the light. Study the map. Check the book. The steps are marked. That's your Bible. examine the marbles. Mr. Rotelli, you want to check these? That's the original copy. You owed us $23,000. That was our receipt. You can tear it up if you want. Go ahead.
about traffic violations. Yeah, yellow cab, uh, I'm at the corner of uh, Genesee and Pitts. Uh, well, it's the uh, economy self-serve. Well, it's the economy self-serve. My name is uh, Ted Byron. Uh, well, I'll be right here. Right, I'm not going anywhere. Sonny, how's it going? Well, who's on stage? Margot and Sherry. Yo, why are only two girls on stage? Where's Teddy? He uh, just came up. All right, well, what's he singing? What song is he singing, Sonny? But how can that be? Sonny, how can that be the song with only two girls on stage? What? Sonny! Well, who's this? Vince. Vince, I can't understand Sonny. Uh, well, well, who's on stage now? The, 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 uh, the, the short girl? Uh, Margot Donna, right? And the tall girl? Right, Sherry. Yeah. And uh, what, what number is it? Is it the Paris number? The Paris number, for Christ's sake. You've been at the place seven years. You don't know what the Paris number is? Well, are there signs on the wall? P-A-R... The Paris number. Are there letters on the wall that say P-A-R... There's another card that says Moon. Well, what's he singing? Is it I can't give you anything but love, baby? I can't give you anything but love. Baby! I'm the one who called you.
Where are you going, Bill? Downtown. I mean, we're downtown. This is a pretty big city, you know? Yeah, I'll tell you when we get there. Hey, look, mister, I don't like to take anybody in the cab that doesn't know where he's going. Well, I know where I'm going. I uh, just don't know the address. All right, you call it out when we get down here, all right? Yeah, okay. You wanted 12 hamburgers to go, right? That's right. Well done, right? That's right. I even had them individually wrapped for you. No, 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 that's wrong. You, you didn't want them individually wrapped? No, I, I, I don't want them wrapped. I want them all together. My wife hates waste. Uh, paper comes from trees. Uh, she, hates, she can't even throw the garbage out. Just do what I tell you, will you? But, but I want you them all together. But you can't put 12 hamburgers in a brown paper bag. I mean, you, you're going to ruin it. That's the way I want it. OK. Your hamburgers? My husband died last year. But you know, he can angry. It'll ruin me. But sometimes it always goes like that, don't it? Yeah. I know. Believe me, I know. I lost my own wife three years ago this fall. Was she rest in peace? Well, my son will lost you. Hey, look, man, I'm really sorry. I, I thought maybe you're lonely. I thought maybe you had a problem. I, I didn't really mean anything. I... All right. Sue, Sue, listen, listen. It's all right. I told him. You didn't mean anything. I told him. Okay. And we're good. Okay, okay. Got it. Got a cigarette? Yeah, yeah. All right,
real bad. I'm so sorry.
Then I'll tell you where to go. What is that, a movie house there? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, uh, I feel like a movie. Stop here, will you? Okay. It's all right here? Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. Oh, my God. Mom, you gotta call me a cab. No. I have to get to the club. No, you stay home. A Peruvian, a Peruvian uh, shepherd named Bruno said this about love I do know. A woman is fine, a sheep is divine, but a llama is numero uno. <laughs> hey, Marty, how are you? Good to, Jesus Christ, good to see you. Having a party? Yeah, a little celebration. Some friends in from New York, Claire Benoit, Mickey Onoo, and Mike, and uh, this is Ingrid. Please. Now, Vinny, I'm sure you remember. Listen, Lloyd, I just heard on the radio that something happened down there at the Chinamen's. Sounded like a real bloodbath. People hollering and screaming all over the place. Oh what God. happened? I don't know. I didn't hear all the details. They had a reporter doing it on the spot one night. Was it a Tong War? I don't know, but the way he said it, there was about 25 squad guys there. There was some asshole that went up and just started shooting. Kids, too. Who's the Chinaman? What? Uh, uh, downtown. Uh, guy in import-export. Did you know him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want a drink? Well, I'm sure you'll excuse me. I have to meet someone over there. Well, come back, okay? No, nice to see you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, okay. But come back, okay? All right. Good night, Al. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like me? 
Oh, he's sweet. He's a nice guy. He's a nice looking guy. Is he a nice guy? Mm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Notice how upset he was about that Chinese massacre? Mm. Hey, excuse me, please. We have to freshen up. Sure. How long were you in Mark? I don't remember. You don't remember? Married to him, you don't remember how much you're married? Don't worry about it. No. I got a perfect chimney. You carry the smoke out. Why can't the smoke go in the house? Hi, Mort. Oh, I gotta talk to you. Alone. Good well, night. Screw, have yourself a whistle to you. Take okay. off with him. Get her ready. I'll be with you in a little while. Guess what? Have I got a message from Marty. You see Marty? Mm, I'm always looking Say at hello, Marty. Marty. Greatest guy in the world, Marty. You know what he's There he is, right over there. That's him. The two finger salute. <laughs> All right, Marty. You know what he just told me? Stop by the table. Yeah, what did he tell you? He said the Chinaman is dead. I thought you'd be happy. Now I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> you gotta go get the telly and kill him. is good because it's good for the house and what is good for the house is ultimately good for yours truly. Now I shall mesmerize you, all of you, hypnotize you, How's it going, sir? Busy. and make you use your imaginations to take you on another trip, to another day, to another dream another dollar, imagination, imagination is funny, it makes a cloudy day sunny, makes the bees think of honey. Just as I think of you, imagination is crazy. Your whole perspective gets hazy, starts you asking a daisy what to do. What to do? Have you ever felt a gentle touch and then a kiss and then and then find it's only your imagination again? Oh well. Imagination is silly. You go around willingly. For example, I go around wanting you, wanting you. Yet. Fabulous. 
this place. Thanks. Four times. Delicioso. Good girls. Just like home. I've been waiting a long time. I've been playing games. You know match one? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. You play? Well, not now. I've got a little problem here. No. I gotta meet some friends at 11 o'clock. Maybe you should, like, come along. We're all fairly interested in your experience. Well, I'll tell you about it. You can tell them because uh, I don't feel too hot. No one could have pulled that off. I know myself. Ten years ago, I had to shoot some Mexicans. Hey! I'm gonna buy you a diamond ring. You love me? Say you love me. I don't want to keep my friends waiting any longer. guy. I never believed I could tell that to anyone. It's too bad I wasn't nice. Where are your friends? Anybody else? Sure, Karl Marx said opium was the religion of the people. I got news for him. It's money. Money. That's Jesus Christ. My father was right. Well, my father put it another way, you know. Cabe, she says, mio padre, mia detto, vai fatto, una bella cacata. Yeah. Great enjoyment, a good crap. 
You know what's wrong with the world, Cosmo? Including me and everybody else that might be here. The whole world needs a fart at the same time. There's nothing wrong with you, Cosmo. Money. Money. My father was a nice guy. My, you should have met my father. He could listen to me like you could. That's why I like you. There's not many people that can listen to my father. You cry when your father died. Uh, promised me one thing. He said, hey, don't let him bury me. He didn't like the electric company, the gas company, the water company. He Why didn't like you do yourself a favor and get out of here? Huh? You're an amateur. Take a walk. Where are you going? That's my friend in there. Take care of him. He's your problem. Say hello to everybody and give them my love. La play ball. Asshole. Cosmo. Sorry about that. In fact, I'm sorry about the whole thing, Cosmo, but uh, it couldn't be helped, you know? I mean, that's why we're here to talk about it. It just happened to be you. I like you, and I personally like you. I felt it when I met you. It was instincts, you know. I just know the whole mess is on the news. I don't know if they know who you are. I don't know if they know you're connected with us or not. But we can get you out of town for a while. We'll take care of the joint for you. You come back in. You run the joint just the way you want it. It's your place. Fire the axe, hire him. Stage it, whatever you want to do. Got some kind of guts. You know who that was? You know who the Chinaman was? He was the heaviest cat on the West Coast, Cosmo. You did what we couldn't do. I mean, you knew you were set up, didn't you? I mean, there was a plan, and uh, I was part of it, but... Uh, I like myself, you know? I mean... I believe you could kill me right now, and, and if that's what you want to do, then uh, go ahead. But you've got enough heat on you already, and we can help you.
Because I had to call her at the club and tell her there was an accident. He was hurt. Well, could you come on for a few minutes? Because I don't know if he's coming home. I don't know if you know a doctor. Um, I said, I don't know if he's coming home. Can you just get off the telephone? He, he may try and call, and if he calls and the line is busy, he won't call back again. No, I'm like, get off the darn telephone. Who are you talking to anyway? struggling to keep the show alive. Talk with you a moment, please. Oh, sure. What's happening? Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Don't worry, Rach. I got a lot of insurance. I'm serious. What's I'm going on? Go talk to your mother. Shh. Could we please have a talk? I don't know what to think. I mean, uh, uh, I'm not feeling well, tell you the truth. I mean, it's not, uh, my stomach is upset. I need some, uh, some, uh, I don't know what I need. I don't know. But uh, I uh, didn't expect that. I didn't expect a double cross. <laughs> You're a funny lady, Betty. My mother was very funny. Had a great sense of humor. Yeah, that's right. She was so funny, she ran off with this big, fat butcher. I don't know where she is. Uh, but 
fait. Euh... Euh, je... Get a riff. <laughs> no, I didn't run off with no book. Uh, no, you didn't. I don't give a shit about bunch. That's right. Well, that's what she did. And my father was... Uh... I don't give a damn about your father. That's right. Yeah, well, he was a, he was a moron. I don't care. But I care! Well, I don't! Well, I do! Cosmo, I think what happened was wrong. And you won't go to the docks because you think you're going to live with the bullet in you. And I don't want you in my house no more because I'm not strong enough for you. you luck in whatever you endeavor. And I gotta go because there are no rivers here. Uh, I still love you. Yeah. But you can't stay here anymore. Absolutely. Because I don't know what's wrong and I don't know what happened and I don't want to know. I know. And I don't want to know
What's going on here, huh? Waiting to start the show. Nobody wants their check this week? Yeah, yeah. sure. You want your check, don't you? Yeah, well, let's get our asses downstairs. We got people. Okay. Well, let's go. What's the problem? Where's Rachel? Yeah, is Rachel sick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's not feeling too good. Right. Mm -hmm. She has the flu. Mm -hmm. And she has another job. Oh, really? Bigger and better things. Sounds like a good uh, Rachel is, uh, oh. got a new job. Mm -hmm. Bigger and better things, huh? She's got the flu. Oh, and she's depressed. Mm -hmm. Just like you guys. What is this depression? Huh? There's a problem. Come on. I know there's a problem. It's just a misunderstanding. Well, what is it's it? a problem that has to, it's not us to misunderstand. It's a problem, and it has to be discussed now. Look, I don't want to pull a big star bit, but people do come here because I'm, you know, well, some unique kind of personality, I suppose. A bit far out, a bit freakish, maybe, but far out? Okay. Not a freak at all. Yeah, but freakish. But, Straight laced. But, freakish. But unique in my own way. And when things go badly, who gets the booing? I do. But when things go well, the music they, 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 they get the applause and all the cheers because they flash their tips. Hey, no, no way! Way! Let us be civil, ladies. Now, Teddy. Teddy. Why, well, maybe nothing. Everything takes work. Now, we'll straighten it out. You know. You gotta work hard to be comfortable. Yeah, a lot of people kid themselves, you know. <laughs> they, they, they know when they were born. They know where they're going. They know go, whether they're gonna go to heaven, whether they're gonna go to hell. They think they know that. They kid themselves, right? But the only people who are, you know, happy are the people who are comfortable. That's right. That's right. Now you take uh, the the Carol, right? Take her too far. Good evening, you know. Oh no! A dingbat, right? A dingaling, a dingo. That's what people think she is, because that's the truth they want to believe. But uh, you put her in another situation, right? Put her in a situation that's tough, stress, where she's up against something. You see, she's no fool. Right? A little silly, but no yeah. Fool. Right. Because what's your truth is my falsehood. What's my falsehood is your truth, and vice versa. Have a right? Never use. But let's uh, let that go. That's too confusing. <laughs> I confused myself. <laughs> now let me see. Where was I? Oh yeah. Well, look. Look at me. Right. I'm only happy when I'm angry. I'm sad when I can play the fool, when I can be what people want me to be rather than be myself. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that takes work. Gotta work overtime for that. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter who you are, what personality you choose. Come on, baby. Come, Come on, on baby. Choose a personality. Come on, so let's go down there I'll and... I'll give you a run down after the show. Right. Hey. We'll do a great show. Oh, watch watch out. Your back. We'll smile. <laughs> we'll cry big glistening tears that pour onto the stage. And we'll make their lives a little happier, huh? So they won't have to face themselves. They Come can on. pretend to be somebody else. Be happy. Be joyous. Come on. Hey. You, maestro. Come on. There's a yes. show down Give me the down beat. Okay. The down beat. Get it going. Bop, bop. Wars have come and wars have gone. History goes on and on. But ever since this world began, not war has conquered man. Oh, I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Look at this. Great. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what? Lovely man gave it to me. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Sherry. Oh, 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 you're lovely without oh, that oh. little ring, my love. 
Alright, keep it up. Come on, no fooling around. Let's do it. Let's do it clean. Come on, keep going, Tony. Keep going. Okay. Come on. That's right. Caesar fought to gain control. Worldly wealth was Caesar's goal. But then Cleo played her hand, and love conquered just as planned. Patients, we're going to start off by buying every one of you a drink. Yeah. Put a spotlight on Sonny. Put a spotlight on Sonny. Sonny Venice, ladies and gentlemen, our boss. Beautiful man, huh? Here we are. We have Andy with us. Big spin. He's going to be with us tonight in the show. Andy? Sonny Venice. Love to say that name. Beautiful name. And uh, the girls that help him here are beautiful girls. Love to take care of people. We have uh, Rita here. Rita. Rita. You got a drink there? Let me have that. Virginia? Virginia. Come on. Eileen? Eileen? Where's the girls? Oh. Yeah, well, I think I should explain why we're a little late. Uh, one of our... Yeah, well, that's it. One of our girls left. Uh, no longer with us. Uh, Rachel, as a matter of fact, gone on to bigger and better things. Uh, she was a black girl, black and beautiful. And I loved her. And I drink to her. Now, uh, Mr. Sophistication and his the lovelies are not going to take you to Asia. They're not going to take you to Europe. They're not going to take you to South America. We're going to introduce a new number tonight. He's going to take you on a whole new trip. And I know you're going to enjoy it. It's a new number written by our musical director, talented guy, Tony Majo. And, uh, uh, with any luck, uh, Mr. Sophistication and his the lovelies will be walking on those stairs right now. Let's give him a big hand. Mr. Sophistication. <laughs> Mr. Sophistication, ladies and gentlemen. Than never miss by even at this hour of the night. I'd like an Apollo spot on Cosmo and a larger, greater hand for our 
Padroni, because he's not only a great nightclub owner, right, 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 but he also, he also practices the best thing there is in this world to be comfortable. Enjoy yourself. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time tonight, right here on this stage, the Crazy Horse West is pleased and proud to present to you tonight our musical director, Mr. Tony Daggio. Yay! Listen, ladies and gentlemen, he thinks we don't love him, but we really do. <laughs> 